Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. I have been covering each and every feature and each and every widget under Elementor Basics playlist. And before explaining text editor widget, I wanted to explain few that are possible with Elementor heading widget. It doesn't matter if you are using Elementor heading widget, rich text editor widget, anything with text, these effects can be achieved through that. So what exactly am I going to show you? I'm going to show you the cutout or the knockout text effect. So usually when you have a text and when it has background, it looks something like this. But using CSS, you can make it look something like this. So what exactly did I do? I just made the background visible only through the text. This is possible with a property called background clip. And before talking about background clip, Let's analyze CSS background syntax. So there can be multiple background layers, but we'll just settle with one because we just want to make one image cut through our text. So the syntax is this image color, position and size, repeat style, attachment. So we'll just settle with this. So the syntax of it is something like this. So we give background. We start with the URL and you can add any image from your website. You will understand why we are adding color later, but just bear in mind that your URL or the image should be backed up with color. So in case if your image fails to load, at least this color will show up so that at least the text is not transparent. So let me give an invalid URL here. So if I remove the color, you cannot see the text. That's because the the text fill color is set to transparent. So it will basically take the color of its background. But if you add a background color, you can see the text. And that's the reason why you need to have a background color along with your image. Okay, let's put my image back. So image color, repeat style and attachment fixed or scroll, just leave it fixed or you can simply remove this altogether. And you can specify the position. So maybe if you want the image 10% along X and 10% along Y or however you want, you can simply change these values. This can also be in pixels. So it can be 10 pixels, 30 pixels, 100 pixels, whatever. So X and Y values in pixels so that the image will be moved based on that. Uh, let's try with pixels. So it's 10 pixels, 30 pixels. And you can see you have a different background image now. You can pick any background image. It doesn't have to be uh, the image from your site. It can be from any website, but make sure that you have the access to it so that the image doesn't fail to load. So once it loads, it will cut through your text some, like this. And the next property is background clip. And this is the main property responsible for this. So let me remove the fill color. And when I just add the WebKit background clip property to text, you cannot see the image because there's some text, there's some color to the text. In order to avoid that, in order to make the text show the image behind it, you need to make the text fill color transparent. So the property for that is WebKit fill color and you just need to make it transparent and just like that whatever is behind that image will be seen through it and if you have a URL that's kind of organized like mine so mine is based on dates so you can simply change the images like this so let's change this to 10% and 10% it's moving the image just like that So you can move the image and get various effects. You can also have other background image. So you'll have a different text like that. So you have something like that. You can also make it repeat. You just leave it to repeat and the image will repeat and it will create that neat little effect. You can see over here. It can be any image from your site. Just take it and paste it and just back it up with the color repeat and change the values based on what you want to see here and that's it that's how you achieve cut through text using elementor and three lines of css code finally it need not even be 
your background image it can also be a gradient i've already explained gradients in another video i'll leave a link to that in the description so you can simply add a linear gradient of two or more colors so you can say and just like that your text becomes a gradient text basically it's a gradient background but you're making it cut through your text uh, you can add as many colors as you want let me try one more so you can add something like that as many colors as you want i'll leave a link to the gradients tutorial make sure you check that out so using that you can also add an angle so instead of saying direction you can say specify an angle so just like that you can modify this angle you can also give a negative value so it turns in the opposite direction however you want it so this is how you achieve cut through text there are few other methods but for the sake of simplicity i'll just settle with that if you want me to make video on other methods to achieve the cut through effect or knockout text effect using elementor and css let me know in the comments down below i'll talk to you in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace